Hey y'all, we're working on some challenges in the strings unit, specifically in the basic string operators unit, we're working on the third challenge. That is, uh, we're asked to write a function called rep chars, which takes a string, single string as input and returns a list of strings as the output. Each string in the output should contain a unique non-white space character. That means not spaces, not tabs. And re uh, that should be repeated the number of times it appears in the input string. Uh, we have some notes here. The function should be case insensitive. If the character only appears once, it should not be included in the output. So we see some examples. Uh, rep chars, I am a string. We're expecting uh, two I's. We have an I here. We have an I here. Uh, two A's right here and here. And three exclamation points here at the end of our string. Uh, similarly, Right, if we have just a string that's each letter of the alphabet only once, there are no repeated characters, so we just return uh, uh, an empty list. Right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing, as usual, that I'm going to want to do is go ahead and define my function. It does say that I take in a string. I'm just going to be sort of generic. I'm going to call that string. I know that I'm going to need a couple of accumulators here. One, I know that I'm going to need the string of re repeated characters. So I'm going to call this accum list. And that's going to be an empty list. And then as I iterate through my string, checking each letter, I see here in this example, when I encounter I the first time, I add it to my list. But when it's encountered the second time, I don't need to add it to that list again. So I want another list where I am going to slow over each iteration, I'm going to keep track of which letters or which characters I've already checked. So I don't end up double adding any of them. So let's go ahead and we're going to call this one called uh, character scene. And then the last thing that I'm going to want to do is it says that the function needs to be case insensitive. So I don't need to worry about case. So I'm just going to make my life easier and just say that string is equal to string dot lower. So everything will now be lowercase. Now, as you could mention, imagine the a first good step is just to iterate through the string character by character. Now, this is going to help me just sort of understand, right? Uh, if I'm looking for duplicate characters, I need to check each character in the string. So iterating through them is a good starting point. And then I'm going to want to check if a character appears more than once. So I can say character count, uh, which is going to be equal to character dot count. Excuse me, it's going to be equal to string dot count with my character as the parameter. So I can now count how many times that character is in there. Now, the next step that I'm going to want to do is I have some conditions to check, right? I need to check if it occurs more than once, I wanna add it to my accumulated list. I need to make sure that it's not already in my character scene list. I also need to make sure that the character is not a white space. So to do this, I can just use an if statement. I can say if char count is greater than one and char is not in char's scene and char is not equal to an empty space. Then I know my counts greater than one I know I haven't already added it to my list previously in my iteration, and I know it's not a white space. Now I know I can go ahead and add that onto my accumulator list. So I'm gonna say accum list dot append. And what I'm going to append is actually the character, the, the same number of times that it appears in my string, which I have saved in this variable char count 
Now, the last thing that I need to do before I move on to my next iteration of my for loop is I need to account for the fact that I've already seen this character. So I'm going to go ahead and only add it if it hasn't been previously added. So I'm going to say if not char in chars scene, right? If my character is not already in this list, char scene, then chars scene dot append char. Once I go through all of those accumulations, and I should end up with everything that I need, and I can go ahead and return my accumulator list. Let's go ahead and give this a check, and we should be in pretty good shape here. And I can see that is correct. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.